Welcome to the Kistler training program on video, available to all our customers at kistler.com. This tutorial explains how to correctly install direct pressure sensors for cavity pressure measurements. We show you how to place these types of sensors into a mold using mounting nuts. First you make sure that all equipment is ready at hand. The sensor with cable, mounting nuts, a sensor insertion tool, a mounting nut fastening tool, a bore checking tool. Next, you should consult your mold drawing and check that the sensor location is precisely identified, that using a mounting nut is the appropriate installation method, that the cable routing is clearly evident, that the exact connector position is marked. The first step is to check the sensor bores using the special checking tool. Kistler provides a tool for each sensor type and mounting method. Here the bores are perfect and you can continue. So you move on to the actual sensor installation. Kistler provides special insertion tools for all types of sensors. Make sure the sensor fits exactly. Now it's time to use the mounting nut. Insert it manually into the bore. Using the mounting nut fastening tool is a bit tricky. As you can see, it has a slit for the cable. It's very important that you take your time. Be careful not to damage the cable. Finally, you tighten manually until the sensor is seated firmly. With the sensors in place, you should first check the recess for the connector. Make sure there's enough clearance to avoid short circuits of the connector shield. Now you can route the cables through their channels. It's vital to cover them using plastic or rubber strips and to secure them with clips or small plates. In some tools, there are holes for cable routing. In any case, make sure that corners and hole edges are deburred to avoid damage to the cable's insulation coating. It's very important that you identify each cable using numbered markers. Our unique technology allows you to simply cut the cables to length. However, don't cut too tightly. Allow for some slack. Now you can connect the cables to the connector. Our multi-channel connectors come with easy-to-use screw clamps. All you have left to do is carefully arrange the cables, place the connector in the recess, and screw it on. Make sure the cap is installed, too. In some cases, your mold has open cable channels. To prevent damage, you should protect them using a metal cover. Make sure it's a tight fit and the mold surface is clear. To be sure that the installation was successful, you make use of Kistler's sensor testing equipment. First, you check the insulation. The bar has to be well into the green field. If it's not, insulation is insufficient. The sensor requires service. Finally, you check the sensor's sensitivity. If the indicated value is too low, the sensor is either installed too tightly or it's faulty. If it consistently stays within the recommended range, everything is fine. Congratulations.